has taught Marvelous Marco anything about the matchup way back in the day. Or oh, well, Marco, uh, I'll fall back to her. Carlos definitely with some advice on the stream. Uh, Smash 4, he had all the experience he needed from me. Uh, he can he can bomb camper and STI down and mash up air. So we'll see if any of that will come into play for Marco. Wow, uh, look at Marco being able to deal with the witch time on a projectile, but just being able to fire another one. <laughs> Marco patiently waiting in shield for Great Clash to uh, threaten, but not quite connect. And both these characters can do so much in the air that it's going to be a really interesting uh, fight. It all boils down to Marco trying to figure out whether or not he can actually continue with some of his confirms, and Great Clash trying to figure out Marco's air drift. Yeah. Great Clash taking Marco for a ride. Nice, using the bomb oh. platform and gets the down air able to recover. What an up smash to punish the down air coming up from Great Clash. But that was good pressure from Great Clash. Nonetheless, Marco slipping through the cracks against that witch time. What a play at the end. And what an opportunity to go for a roll, but also for either an attempt at a shield or for a possible back throw at the ledge. Marco knows where his position needs to be against this character. Marco again avoiding the dangerous uh, smash attacks from Great Clash. Setting the pressure at ledge. Great Clash is able to avoid the boomerang as well. Uh oh. Marco going for a ride. Oh, okay. <laughs> that happened. And so that back here. <laughs> Marco able to fire right back though and take Great Clash's stock. Just looking at a number of Great Clash's matches tonight, the uh, between stock action has been long and arduous, but the stocks get taken one right after another. Oh wow, Fair actually managed to get Marco out of that predicament, but not out of that witch time, and now he's suffering for it. Nice dash grab by Great Clash. They really. Uh, made Bayonetta's mix-up opportunities a little bit more limited by having Bayo have such a relatively weak grab game in this game. <laughs> and that's kind of like one of those things like in 4, like people had just suffered to the character that in Ultimate. Yeah. When you, I, I honestly feel in 4, Bayonetta was an Ultimate character, and now every other character has caught up to Bayonetta, leaving her in a really weird spot because everyone is just caught up to, what, to how good she was. And Great Clash was really comfortable with that bomb grab too, I don't know if you saw that a second ago. Because sometimes one of the really sneaky things about playing the Link, in particular Toon Link with his wonky bomb timings um, that also obscure the, the stage visually, is getting used to that when you wind up grabbing a bomb. Marco is looking for the killing blow here. Gets the down or not quite going to do it. Great Clash getting stymied by the arrow. And Marco, again, just being able to have be mindful of the timing for when Great Clash wants to go for those big haymakers, spot dodging the down smash and throwing one of his own. Oh, being caught in the witch time, and finally Great Clash able to connect there. Like I said, these stocks, when they do go, they finally go one after another, man. Yeah, that's the, that's the crazy thing here about Great Clash and Marco. Marco is just really good at understanding his positioning, how to force opponents out of shield, how to get the upper hand, but Great Clash definitely understands the punish game with Bayonetta as a whole. And honestly, you kind of have to more in Bayonetta, cause you, especially in Ultimate, how things have been for her. Yeah. Unless, what? Marco trying to threaten from a distance, but Great Clash is playing so patient right now. That's one thing that you can actually really do when you do get the bomb grab is you can basically Z drop it right in front of you to um, make sure your opponent doesn't feel like they can advance. Oh man, Marco again forced the air dodge multiple times here and just cannot land. Oh no, oh, not enough light to land. Marvelous Marco giving it a shot, but it's gonna be Gray Clash taking game one. That was so good by Great Clash, just having the mindfulness to be like, okay, I think he's probably going to air dodge again, and then just time the response afterwards. 
<laughs> Honestly, that's that's the kind of the adaptation that I'm slowly seeing here for Free Clash and Marvelous Marco as well. It's just interesting that Marco didn't find or didn't think to do a bomb pull during any of that. But that said, here we go. Game two. See if we can clean up his gameplay or if Grey Clash is going to move on to Grand Finals. Yeah, Back and Mets. Town is, oh, sorry, oh, no, you're, no, you're good. I'm just saying, like, that's the crazy thing here. For, it was like, we're back to town, but we also understand it. it's best of threes out here and this ladder. And that's what kind of makes this tournament a little bit more good for training for anybody who wants to progress and get better. And Marco knows it's on the line for him because we do have a prize spot. But best of threes, man, you pretty much have great clash at set point. Nice patience by Marco to catch that whiffed back here. The name of the game for Marco again, folks, is just trying to follow up off the straight projectile hits and avoid this. Oh, okay, oh so man. Close. He was taking this man to the skies. A town, town ceiling kept him from uh, <laughs> dying right there. Jesus. And again, Marco just hasn't quite found a punish or a, you know, specific answer for when Great Clash is able to basically retreat and disadvantage. But man, sometimes you just need to be able to throw the big makers out and there you go marco taking that first stock yeah and this is what marco needs here the first stock able to kind of hold things back take his time back to the stage oh, but that was no. an excellent call out from gay i'm sorry great clash because yeah at this point he's adapted to marco's plays at the ledge i'll say like one of the things that's really remarkable the way great clash is playing this is that just never wasting your witch time for the most part okay literally as soon as i said that <laughs> That was funny. Uh, commentator's curse. Anyway. <laughs> oh, hey, nice hey, follow-up there from it, Marco. Commentator's, commentator's, goes, <laughs> commentator's curse goes everywhere, man. <laughs> it goes both ways. Either you can sometimes bless, you can sometimes curse. Oh, wow. That was a really big landing from Grey Clash trying to take oh, Marco no. completely okay, off okay, the plot. Okay. He's good. Able to still recover. He saved his opportunity there for the last second to use that spin attack. Not enough shield damage there. Great class able to jump out. Another witch time. Great class is starting to make a just get a really good. Ah, uh, the bomb uh, not gonna explode in time. Marco, no, fall into his death. Great class is starting to get a really good understanding of when Marco wants to use boomerang as witch timing him on it like constantly now. <laughs> Zero to seventy, jeez. Marco's win though right now. Is closing rapidly. He's got to figure out a way to get out of this tailspin. Oh, this might be it. Oh, we only got the first oh. hit. Great Clash fell out of it. No, and even then, Marco's got to be careful on how much he overexerts himself or goes for some of those big riskier plays. This man is on his last stock, and honestly, Bayonetta with a good read can definitely take care of that here. And that's why we see Great Clash going for that immediate Witch Fist out of shield, trying to punish Marco for being in that range. But Marco gets the punish instead. It's Great Clash oh, no, taking this event. It. Okay, that was close. That was Woo! close. Woo! Marco managed to avoid that. That looked like the biggest uh, call out ever. But there we go. Marco finally taking that last stock. Uh oh. That's going to do it. Oh, no, no Marco. Marco's still surviving. Oh, no. Oh, no, the first hit. And I, have to, I, have to, I have to commend Marco, man. He like wanted to save that spot dodge, or he didn't want to burn it because he thought like he wanted to time it properly. But Great Clash just had this man locked and loaded at the end of a gun, and that's gonna be Great Clash taking it 2-0 over Marvelous Marco. I'm sorry, man. Carlos, Carlos, Carlos is trying to teach him something, but man, Great Clash is a different bail.